and sprayed around it to get because what when I sprayed more blue onto this yellow, see how this has all the mm -hmm. that's what it originally looked like when I sprayed more blue on and I got Oh, so you didn't go around with the brush to do this. Mm -hmm. Well I did a little bit yeah, to, okay. to make the the um, yeah, the, the shadows I did. What but, did I um, Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Yeah. Let's see that was yeah. spraying on top after it was dry. Mm -hmm. How did you get the white of the bird? Did you say that? Did you see that you white there? That titanium? Oh, that is titanium. Yeah, that's okay. a really great white paint. Really? <laughs> did you paint that bird, Marilyn, or is that the white of paint? No, that's painted. It's painted. Yeah. yeah. And is that, is, what is that medium? Watercolor again? It's all watercolor on UFO. Mm -hmm. But this, I don't, I mean, depending on what watercolor group you talk to, this yeah, is water soluble. <laughs> Well, if you're transparent, I guess it's not correct, but. Do you use this paint for anything other than the UFO? I have, actually. I didn't bring that painting, but yeah. Uh -huh. um, I've used it. It's great for pores, because oh. it's already liquid, for pores. but it's yeah. really yeah. strong. What do you do with those now? Uh, um, oh. Yeah. Oh, you make the patterns. Take old, old paintings that didn't work. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of those. <laughs> When I went to this workshop, and she said, take old paintings that didn't work, and I'm like, oh, wow, she's going to look at it and tell me how to fix some, and she's okay, cut them up. <laughs> I, oh. So what do you do with them? Okay, well, see, I had this, I, yeah, this is like negative working. I had like.